Hey guys, just wanted to take a quick second and apologize about the echo on the audio here. I'm moving my recording setup from one room to another, and I'm having to order some additional sand dampening materials that won't be here for a few days, so if you would, just bear with me, and we'll be back to clean audio here shortly. Thanks! Shut up and sit down! Greetings, fellow Earth Travelers. Oblix here, coming at you today from my creative test world. How y'all doing today? Man, oh man. You know what? I sure wish I had a way to store a whole bunch of liquids. Oh wait, I do. Yeah, that's a big old tank. Now that lighting glitch, that's not actually a glitch. That is expected behavior. It is trying to cut down the rendering that it has to do to save your server and your client a lot of headaches. So when the lava just disappears, that's okay. Like right there. That's normal. You didn't lose your lava, it's still there. But how cool is this thing? It is a massive 18 by 18 structure. Now these guys can be anywhere from a 3x3x3 three by three by three all the way up to an 18x18x18 18 by 18 by 18. and can be a combination of these dynamic tank blocks, the structural glass, and these dynamic valves. So I've got this guy fed with a creative power supply and two lava fabricators from industrial foregoing and you'll see it has this cool effect of actually pumping the lava into the tank how cool is that now this tank can be used with any liquid in the game if it's liquid it can store it and it stores it in massive quantities the glass you do have to use the structural glass for a mechanism but you can put it in any pattern you want. So over here I just did some alternating cubes. Over here I did, I don't know what this pattern is, some diagonal type of thing. And over here I just did random bits and bobs. Any pattern you want. So you can create it any way you want. The only trick is the outside has to be the structure blocks other than that you're free to rain now you should ask how big is this thing well, let's take a look he's been running a while and because this is reading in millibuckets if we look over here we count three over this is where it starts counting buckets so this is buckets tens hundreds thousands ten thousands so this guy has 75,000 buckets in him of lava and is less than a quarter full. Yeah. He's massive. Not only is he massive this way, but he's massive in his storage capacity and just looks super, super cool. So if you're looking for a way to store just ridiculous amounts of fluid, take a look at the dynamic tank from Mechanism. But that's all the time I got for today. I sure do appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. Until next time, get out there and make some noise. See ya. <laughs>